having to do with the Ghanaian economy because global ratings agency Standard & Poor's, that's S&P, has downgraded Ghana's credit ratings to default after the government suspended debt payments, a move that complicates the planned debt restructuring meant to unlock a bailout by the International Monetary Fund. Ghana, which has $13 billion of foreign bonds, was downgraded to selective default from CC due to the moratorium on debt payment. Uh, the debt, the credit assessors said in a Tuesday statement, according to analysis from Frank Gill and Ravi Bhatia, the default comes as Ghana suffers from very low net reserves, a volatile exchange rate, while inflation and a weakened economy is also a cause for concern. Standard & Poor's is the first major rating company to declare Ghana's foreign debt in default. Fitch Ratings and Moody's Investment Services assigned it the lowest, um, the second lowest rankings or ratings. A group of Ghana's foreign bondholders, including um, Amundi, BlackRock and Greylock, have already organized to form a creditor committee ahead of debt restructuring negotiations. And so it doesn't look too good for uh, how far government or the efforts government is putting in. Let's